subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfucker. Move, put that away! What's going on guys? James here bringing another radio. For this one will be my weekly bad movie Friday bit. And for this Friday, I'll be talking about the elusive cocaine bear. So I'm gonna need a drink for this one. So um cocaine bear, let's jump to the IMDB. I'll talk about the story and all that jazz. So on IMDB here, it has a one second. Six out of ten stars. I'm just a five out of five. I've not seen a movie that I like this much that's bad since uh, the Velocipaster. Pastor an hour and a half long and it came out this year and um i wanted to point out that is it at the making of this video it is available to rent through amazon for early access movies um if you want to do that instead of seeing it in theaters but if you're gonna watch it watch it with like friends or family because that's what i did i watched it with family and the jokes we said throughout this movie makes it 10 times better so okay for the budget and i'll talk about the story Budget, budget, budget. Okay, if it low. Oh, yeah, that was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, budget. $35 million for the budget. Uh, wow, I thought that was going to be way cheaper. Um, for the U.S. and Canada, opening weekend was uh, $23 million. And for the U.S., uh, for the worldwide, it was uh, $75 million. So they made back their money. Oh, I want to add that this was Ray Liotta's um, last movie that he starred in and they dedicated it to the end and Ray Liotta plays a drug dealer who's after the cocaine that gets thrown out of a airplane which the bear finds and then the chaos ensues that's the story so I just pretty much led myself right into the story so um like I said this movie is like very predictable like you can predict what happens in the next scene but because of how crazy the fucking premise of the plot is um it it lands I that's what I thought anyways while watching it um, there's like a sea story with two kids and a mom who is a nurse and these two kids go into the woods find some co some of the cocaine and they take it and the cocaine bear kidnaps one of them and later on in the movie they um get rescued and um the main bear is pregnant I'm gonna spoil this right here that's pretty much the third act is that he, she is pregnant and the, the kids are on cocaine now too and um yeah it's pretty much based on the true story about that one guy who dumped a bunch of coke in um uh the national forest i think and a bear found it digested to it so much of it that it died within 45 minutes but it never actually killed anybody so this movie is like oh excuse me like a strong what if it didn't just die in 45 minutes and uh, it fucking works and uh, there's a, a d story even with um two two more drug dealers that are working for ray liotta who um come across this cop which is a knee story and um this is just a really crazy movie this cop wants a dog doesn't like a dog and throughout the movie he starts liking the dog the dog doesn't die i'm just gonna say that now and um there's a, an f story with park rangers this one park ranger that won't die that keeps going after the bear and shooting it she gets bit in the ass so um yeah i don't really want to spoil much of it because it like just came out not that long ago so like go see it that's pretty much the story so it's not rambling or repeating myself i will show you guys the scenes that best represent this movie i'll be back again in a second everybody see y'all then tom touch shut the fucking door close the fucking door you dumbass Dad, stop yelling at me What the actual? Ah, 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 no, stop! Please, no, no, no! Please, Put back. the gun down and move away from the teenager. Oh, 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 oh. I'll hold on to this. Hey, look! That's Dee Dee's sweater. We're on the right track. I can feel it.
I think it died. It died on top of me? Check his pulse. <sighs> you okay? What are you... Uh, she. What? The bear is a girl. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, shit! Stay back, stay back! <sighs> oh, hey, hey. Stay back! <sighs> oh. Should we shoot her? No. Let's see what kind of effect that has on her. What is it doing? Yeah. I, I don't like this. Daddy, please. Oh, we've been. Come on. Here you go. It's like cocaine Christmas. So those were the scenes I thought best represented the city. And I guess without further repeating myself or rambling, I'm going to show you guys what I have in store for next week's Bad Movie Friday. Be back again in a second, everybody. So we will be doing a movie called Guns at Camino, starring Daniel Radcliffe for next week's Bad Movie Friday. So I guess with that, I'll be bringing this video to a close. This is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. This is James saying, peace. I'll let Brandon Rogers take away from here. See y'all in the next one, everybody. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.